In this presentation, I'll be discussing how to update the translation dictionaries in multilingual GP. For example, we have uh, the account maintenance window here that I've modified. Uh, and the only thing I've really done is put on it, this is a modified screen. Uh, but this could be a third party uh, products uh, modified screen. Uh, it could be a screen created in uh, Dexterity, or it could just be a screen in GP that hasn't been translated yet. So in my example, I'm going to show you how to capture the screen and translate it into Polish. So we'll go down to the multilingual GP icon and we'll select Polish. You'll notice that uh, after the dictionary reloads into memory, it's still all in English is because there's nothing in the translation dictionary to translate it from English to Polish. So one of the things we can do is uh, we right-click on the uh, multilingual GP icon, we select Capture, Text, and click On. Or alternatively, you could just press the F7 key. So once you click it on, what it's doing, it is now capturing any fields or phrases that haven't been translated. So I can translate, uh, the, it's captured that screen right now on anything that hasn't been translated. So next, after it's been captured, I can turn off the capture uh, and go into Quick Edit. Now, or I could have simply hit the F8 key, that would have done the exact same thing. So it automatically defaults to the Polish. And these are all the phrases and words that didn't get translated or haven't been translated yet from English to Polish. So I'm just going to highlight these. And I'm going to copy them over into Excel. Now, what you'll see is, you know, for count maintenance, I probably don't want to translate with the period. The other thing you'll notice is that certain phrases that are captured uh, because it's capturing the screen, if there's any uh, special characters, it captures uh, that information with spaces. So since I'm going to use a machine language translator uh, to translate this, I'm just going to clean up those spaces uh, before I do the translation. And So you can use a product like Systran, that's what I'm using, it's an add-in for Excel. Or you can use uh, Google Translate or if you actually you know Polish or whatever language you're trying to translate it into, uh, you could simply just enter those translations. But for me, I'm going to uh, highlight this selection, and I am going to select Translate, Translate, Selection, and Replace. And what this is doing is it's going to translate it into Polish for me, uh, because I don't uh, speak or read Polish, so I'm using machine language tools such as Systran. But again, if you know Polish and English, uh, you're bilingual, uh, you could just type these in. Uh, so I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to go back to our editor, and I'm going to paste it back in. Now I'm going to do s Save, Exit, and Reload. We'll minimize the Excel. And now what you'll see is that screen is now in Polish. So that's all that it took to translate this entire screen from English to Polish. Okay. Um, so that you can do this, you could have captured many screens at the same time. You just turn on the screen capture, uh, navigate through the screens that you want to capture. It's only going to capture things that are haven't already been translated. Okay. Uh, if it's already been translated, it won't try to translate it again. Another thing that comes up is how to translate data. So I'm going to bring up a sales transaction entry screen. Let me just minimize our account screen here. And let's just switch over to simplified Chinese. 
as you can see you don't have to log out or log back in to switch between languages or anything so now what I have is a sales order processing uh, screen in English but you'll see that I also have this green phone some data that has not been translated so for a simple thing like that I can go directly into the translation dictionary translation dictionary is nothing more than a text file it's a Unicode text file so I'm just gonna right click on it open it up with notepad or whatever text editor that you want to use so as you can see all the translation is is simply English or your source language whatever that happens to mean usually it's going to be English um, so we have our green phone and then it's a tilde that's the delimiter between the target uh, between the source language and the target language so in this particular case I'm going to use Google translation translate to find out what green phone is uh, in Chinese so this is the uh, green phone in Chinese and again if I knew how what the characters were uh, for green phone I could have just typed them in but since I don't I'm using a translation software so I've now put in I've updated the translation dictionary uh, we can minimize this and this and what we'll do now is reload the dictionary and when we do that basically it's reading it off the hard drive loading it into memory and after it's reloaded you'll now see that the green phone is in Chinese so that's how you update the translation dictionary uh, there's also just a little information about the dictionaries there are user dictionaries which is what I just edited uh, and that's the one if you're capturing text would get updated but also there is a shared dictionary uh, that everyone points to and that's what we refer to as the main dictionary which the end users wouldn't update but uh, an administrative person could review your user dictionary and then take that information and put it into the main dictionary for everyone to share Hopefully this little presentation uh, has helped you understand how the multilingual GP translation dictionaries work. If you have any other further questions, please go to multilingualgp.com and email us or give us a call, and we're glad to help you out. Again, the website is multilingualgp.com.